Ladies and gentlemen, up next we have so a good. special Let's challenge match. Which is a reason to talk to him. Go to the YouTube Your channel. Official, Hit that like Ziggy. button. Don't worry about what he says. Go to the YouTube channel. Rico's in for the main shows. They, they wouldn't listen to me. Finally, after two years, Nico's Rico's is here and in Newcastle, Delaware, taking on the Cinderella Man and the local hero of ECWA, Chris Wilde. Nikos Rikos was trained by Pat Buck, a good friend of ours, Dan Moff, and Mario Bacara. Yes. And I mean, three stand-up guys right there. <laughs> I can't even imagine getting in the ring with Dan Moff. And I'll tell you what, Chris Wall's got to worry about Vicky at ringside. Because wherever Nikos goes, Vicky's right there in his corner. Well, we saw earlier that she's very resourceful. What is Nikos doing right now? Is he stalling? Well, he's telling the crowd here who he is. Looks like he's in the face of a young fan at ringside. Nikos Rikos a few years ago also was on NXT. I forget who his opponent was at the time, but... Yeah, Nikos Rikos has been around. I mean, I know he's, he's made appearances for NXT, certainly Impact Wrestling, Global Force Wrestling. I mean, he's been around for quite a while. Uh, also known uh, for his stints with WrestlePro and PWS. So Nikos Rikos is well-traveled. Just because he's, he's new to the ECWA doesn't necessarily mean that he hasn't had his experiences in the wrestling business. I, I think it's going to be really interesting tonight as we play Wild trying to take him down with an arm bar. And also mention that this is a ECWA Mid-Atlantic title tournament match. Uh, the title broken into pieces, as we saw in the Facebook Live video a while back by Joey Ace. Joey Two Belts, known in the PCA. 
uh, last month here, Chris Lau, so called the debuting Violence. Violence will be here tonight in another tourna tournament matchup against uh, bringing back Tahir James, former ECWA Tag Team Champion. Well, lots of exciting things going on tonight. Plus, the return tag team title match with Unstable facing Delaware's finest. Yeah, this time, Brady, that down the hatch is it's a Texas Tornado style. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Who's going to enforce that? Not John Finnegan. <laughs> there better be two referees out here for now. We might need everybody. I'll tell you what, they were battling all over the place last month. Speaking of battling all over the place, Chris Wilde going to force Nikos into the corner. I think Wilde feeling a little disrespected by the fact that Nikos Rico's going to come in here and act like he's the veteran in this match when in fact it's Chris Wilde. Nico Rico's now hammering down on Chris Wilde, got him inside headlock. What was it you saw about Rico's when you uh, brought him in for the academy? You know, it was his athletic ability, it was the style, it was his mannerisms. Um, I saw a video of him on YouTube and I said, you know what, here's a guy that I want the company to take a look at. So I messaged him. He was so excited. I kept hitting up the boss of Joe Zanoli. I said, this guy needs to be on the main roster. needs to be on the main show. So Beautiful flying arm drags. So good to see Nikos Rikos here. And again, Nikos Rikos outside to the floor as referee John Finnegan starts to count. Hey, buddy. Me and, me and Joe just get come out together. Oh, okay. It's a tag match. We have, we have a tag match. Okay. Not just wild. I'm back to do a double Nikos pulls Vicky in front of him, then pulls the feet up the wall. But that's the diversion you were talking about. Chris Wilde's going to have to stay on top of his, on top of everything here. Beautiful knife edge chop, by the way, by the, the former champion, Chris Wilde. And I had the opportunity, Phil, to interview Chris for my podcast, which is syndicated not just on the BOC Nation radio network, but on ECWAProWrestling.com yes. as well. And uh, Chris Wilde had a lot of interesting things to say, you know, not just about Nikos, but about the legacy of the ECWA, about what it's meant to him as a competitor. Look at this not ready to cut you off, but Vicky now jumping up to the ring apron. What the? Distracting Chris Wilde here. Referee John winning has got his hands full. He needs to tell Vicky to stay in the corner. Well, what is Rico's doing now? I think, I think he's... Oh, oh, into that turnbuckle. Face first right into the buckle. I, he might have even hit the post there. I mean, he went flying over the buckle. Could have easily ruptured his sternum there. Rico's Rico's putting the boots to Chris Wild. You know, Brady, I have yet to listen to that podcast that you just mentioned with Chris Wild, but I heard the views are still there. I think he just broke his fingers. Nico's Rico showing an aggressiveness we've not seen in a long time from a newcomer. That's what we're talking about. Vicky now behind referee John Finnegan's back. Choking Chris Wilde over the second rope. Nikos will do anything to win this match, and I do mean anything. <laughs> and let's not forget Chris Wilde spent the better part of uh, two years ago on the shelf. A major injury. Yeah, that happened out of the showboat in Atlantic City. He mentioned on the podcast that he wasn't even ready when he did come back. Beautiful Lariat, and I think Wyatt is out cold. Certainly wouldn't have faulted him if he didn't kick out there. Nico's now working. Oh my God, small the back goes to me. Rico's trying to cut off the air supply, and let's not forget, uh, Chris Wilde is an asthmatic. So, like, every breath you take, every, every step you take, uh, not only will Nico be watching you, but Chris Wilde might be struggling to breathe. It's so important. Oh, went for the cross body, and Rico's the veteran, got his knees up, went up with the leg, and I think thought that 
that was going to do it right there. That was a beautiful counter by Nico Trigos there. The last second pull his knees up in that crossbody block. Chris Wild could be seriously injured here. Ricos has not stopped taking the fight to the Cinderella man, and you've got to wonder if the clock is about to strike 12 on this. Ricos now. Just toying with the former ECWA heavyweight champion. Kind of face washing as he's holding his wrist. I don't remember him being this aggressive when I saw him before. Chris Wild trying valiantly to fight back, got a win from reversal. Goes through the clothesline, catches him in the midsection. There's Chris Wild. He's like a Mortal Kombat fighter, just a street fighter, just doing everything he's done. I tell you what, that just could have took something out of Chris Wild there. He headbutted me close to the chest. Well, he doesn't do it. Oh, no. Both men collide. I think Rico's may have hurt his hand there. Look, he's trying to get the feeling back into the fingers. Wonder if he injured his neck in some way. We never know. Like I said earlier, man, Chris Wild could have hurt his sternum there. Even the small of his back by Nico's being so aggressive. And right now, both men struggling to get to their feet. But it's Nico's who gets there first, but Wild throwing shots back. We are uh, we are hand in hand right now, just battling in the middle of the ring. I gotta admit, I never expected Nikos Rikos to be taking the fight to Chris Wilde like this. Oh! Sweeps the leg with a DDT. And a hook of the leg, middle of the ring, but Rikos kicks out at two. The uh, Spartan Pitbull showing a tenacity that I don't think we usually are used to seeing from newcomers. Wild now, going to the top rope. Kind of reminds me of Joey Ace when he came in. Can Rikos and Vicky go two for two here tonight on the way out of Delaware? We already saw one upset tonight. That would be a hell of a debut to start off with. While trying to force him into a, a cross base. Now Nikos Rikos, all that pressure on the lower Vicky back. Vicky side, beside herself. He's just out of reach of the ropes, though, and he's got to get there to make the break. She's trying wow, to push it. Oh, look at this one. Oh, into the saddle. Wait a minute, Brady. It's violence. What's he doing? What's he doing? Wait a minute. Violence had that chain. He did that to Chris Wilde last month. Clapped him in the back of the head. Nikos Rikos is on top. Rikos! Didn't see it! That's gonna do it! Unbelievable! Rikos, Rikos, pulling out the victory here! Your winner! Nikos! Rikos! Unbelievable! Vicky debuts in the opening match and wins. Nico Rico is his first match here. I don't think that you're a big show. Takes out ECWA's favorite, Chris Wild. What a debut. I don't think a lot of people saw that one coming, but you know what? I got a feeling. Maybe your requests haven't fallen on deaf ears. I have a feeling, if nothing else, we're going to be seeing Nico Rico and Vicky very soon. Nico Rico is one step closer to the Middle Atlantic Championship. Look at him yelling at the camera. We still have another match up here in the tournament. I love this song too, by the way. You gotta wonder, what was violence doing out here? Hit Chris Wild with that chain. Well, apparently violence has a beef with Chris Wild. Maybe it was some of the things Chris said about him in the aftermath of their match last month. He still has a weld on the back of his head from what Violence did in uh, in September. It's amazing, Phil. It really is.